Welcome to Arthur's Ultimate. This is Crazy Damage, and here we go. All right, we just stunned him. Whack him with the stick. Start the group healing. Get a full break going. Alright, now what you see is what just said, sir. Vulnerable to fire, power breakdown. Okay, we, we just stun him. HD's reset. Time to burst him. We need to stun him to win.
Sentinel guard for Get a full break on. Heal. Oh, you tasted. Power breakdown. Burn through him. Battle fire. I only need to recast that. Perfect. We are now in the fourth game. Keeping health top top. Topped off. And we just reset his ATV. Full break in the game to reduce his magic. Kiraja on the run. Realm is back up at full health. Try to stun him. Didn't do that much damage. Wait to be to reset. Power break down. Now get a number of stuns on.
Oh. Oh my god, we need to hear him. Okay, we need to do Sentinel Guard. Record material material came through. Yeah, we need to do a group heal again. Sets her defend. Try to stun. Nope, no, no stun. He really needs to die. Gonna have to keep up with the healing. Full break him. And just burst him down. Everything we got. Get another shell go going. Reset. Power breakdown. Keep bursting. Okay, he's almost dead. Yeah, it's going to get close. It's 
Setzer's down. Victory. That was very close. I think you still mastered even though such a bad. Yep, mastered. Still got all medals for characters KO'd. We got weakness, holy, magic, and attack. Shadow pretty much won that with the instant soul break. And that was it. That was the ultimate plus battle for Orthros. We just got the Sid mission. And we got the two power or reward. All right, let's go over the strategy. Basically, I, I use a lot of synergy gear for the characters. The main accessory that I recommend though is Cloud's Goggles for major resistance to blind, because he does blind. Also gives attack. And for Shadow, he also had Cloud's Goggles. And I took dismissal because if you can stun him you can heal or you have more time to heal so I took advantage of that and I use Winter of Anastre for the chance of dismissal to occur twice I have shadow super so I couldn't dodge his tentacle attacks I could evade two physical attacks so that helped with the healing For Kafka, the only soul break I have is Forsaken Null. So he can fast cast for three spells after he uses that. And I took Flare and Faraja. Since he was my only mage in the party, for every phase except for the fire face flare was actually a good choice. And for Mog, he had Mending Flame for group heal. 
and also a candle rod for that group heal. And Shelga. And Kiraja. And he took a Royal Scepter. And we also have Holy for Realm. And Kiraz to heal people when they're down or get them back up. And heals prayer too. Stat wise, my highest physical attacker was Shadow. And magic wise, my highest magical attacker was Kafka 492. And that's it. I really recommend that if you're going to use Holy to use Healer's Prayer 2. Recommend material. And if you're using Mage, you could use Blood of the Espers, or in my case, I use Dr. Mog's teachings. And with Robin Astra, it also helps with the dismissals to occur twice for a higher chance of stun. And that's it. Thank you.